Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel and today uh, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, ecology concept because in the previous video I have uh, uh, discussed about uh, cattle displacement, uh, then uh, resource partition and uh, uh, gas competitive exclusive principle. Okay, if you didn't watch those videos, please go back and watch those concepts which are very simple, which are on to the point, which are uh, needed for the examination. Okay, and today uh, I would like to continue with the same because from many days I have not done because I have uh, doing the videos on um, animal classification. So, okay, because I am going one by uh, one, uh, two topics at a time. So today, uh, I thought like ec uh, ecology is dragging behind. So I, uh, I thought of making a videos on uh, ecology. So uh, without making uh, any delay, let's start with the first one. Um, the first one is here is ecological compression. So first we will uh, know the definition. But the first uh, definition is here like this. When the number of species in a habitat increases, okay, uh, when the number of species in a habitat increases, the share of each species in habitat and resource shrinks or compresses or it will compresses. This is called ecological compression. See, it is very easy, nothing difficult. Just try to understand the concept so it will be very easy. So uh, the meaning is here like this. See, um, I will give you one better example for this. See, uh, uh, in your family, think if you have five members in a family and your mom prepared uh, a favorite uh, sweet that is jamun, which are only 10 she prepared. Okay. So, uh, but which is enough for you people. Okay. For you five people, those 10 uh, jamuns are enough. Uh, everybody, each one is going, going to eat two, two, two right like that five people's uh, two is enough for each person so uh, that is the scenario but think uh, another um, five members uh, has came to your family like relatives we are uh, with uh, which they uh, so what happens that time so you have to share your um, jamun right so that what happens so you uh, the intake of your jamun will get reduced so while you are eating two now you have to eat only one that means that your resource is getting shrinked, means getting compressed. So it is as simple as that. Okay. So the same thing they are uh, uh, saying here. Uh, ecological compression means when the number of species in a habitat increases. Okay. The share of each species in a habitat and the resource will get compressors or that is called as ecological compression. So I would like to give a one more definition for this. Uh, you can define like this also. In the presence of number of competing species, each species is restricted in its search and exploitation of habitat resource. Okay, we can define ecological compression like this also. I hope you understood the ecological compression. Let us move on to the one more term that is ecological dominance. What is ecological dominance? So here is the definition, a few common species in a community or ecosystem, these are the most abundant and collectively have highest biomass. Those are called as ecological dominant species, means they are saying these are very common species, okay, very common species, uh, species. or you can say these uh, species are very uh, conspicuously found in a particular ecosystem. And um, these species have high abundance related to the other uh, species. Like uh, for example, if you go to that some uh, forest area, so uh, in that uh, ecosystem, you can uh, see uh, abundance number of beetles. Okay, that means that they are in that part, they are uh, dominant. Okay, so that actually means you can see common everywhere. So you, if you look at any direction, you can easily find out those uh, species. Those are called as ecological dominant species. Okay, it is as simple as that. But the most important one, the, uh, which is next one, third, uh, third one, that is keystone species, uh, which is very important for the examination because it has been asked uh, several times in the examination. Let us look at the what, uh, what is uh, keystone species here. And don't get confused with the ecological dominant species and keystone spe species. Both are very different. Okay. First, let us uh, look, uh, look at the definition here. 
when the removal of species affects persistence of other species in the ecosystem and the impact of such removal is disproportionate to its abundance then the species is called as keystone species okay don't worry i will make you understand this or i would like to give a one more definition here uh, uh, like you can defend like this also a species that exert exerts controlling influence over other species in the community or ecosystem okay is i am repeating again a species that exerts controlling influence over other species in the community or ecosystem that actually called as keystone species so i would like to explain this with an example so example like this see you can see herbivores right okay you know what are herbivores okay so these herbivores what they will do abuse eats plants we know that right yeah abuse eats plants so what happens the plant population will get reduced okay this is the common uh, uh, scenario so abuse will eats plants so the population will get reduced so for that now you add tiger here okay if you add tiger here so ti what tiger will do tiger will eat abuse so what happens to abuse population so abuse population will get reduce so if abuse population will get reduce obviously automatically plant population will increase why it plant population will get increase because abuse population will get reduce because abuse eats plant so now if the abuse will get reduce there is there are nobody to eat plants so that plant population will increase let's take the another scenario third scenario if you again remove the tiger if you remove the tiger then what happens abuse population will increase so if abuse population will increase then plant population will decrease because abuse eats plants so from this example we know that the keystone species here is the tiger right because why it is keystone species because this is the species which exerts controlling influence over the other species in the community or in a ecosystem those species are called as keystone species see now again i will de uh, define the uh, definition again when the removal of species affects the persistence of other species in the ecosystem and the impact of such removal is disproportionate to its abundance then the, uh, then the species is called as keystone species okay let us move on to the few more terms that is fourth one landscape species this is very simple very easy one so definition is like this a species that lives in heterogeneous environment what is heterogeneous environment means heterogeneous means hetero means different homo means similar means alike different uh, kinds of uh, um, organisms okay living things non living things everything uh, okay you can say mixture of environment okay a species that lives in heterogeneous environment and is culturally and economically significant to local human populations are called as landscape species okay nothing much in this okay let us move on to the fifth one F fifth one that is rudral species so what are rudral species here rudral species are those species which are first colonizers a disturbed land okay first colonizes colonizes a disturbed land means you, you have heard about the secession right yeah in secession see the first one uh, which arises those actually forms the rural species okay and these uh, rural species tend to represent say a disturbed environment and also low competition okay because these are the first species which are colonizers so okay where there is low competition and which is very disturbed environment okay when the um, uh, first secession will start that time you can see these uh, species and these are uh, our selected species okay and you can get a doubt on here what are our selected uh, species so in my next video will be uh, on uh, are selected species and k selected species so you can uh, watch about what are all selected species and k selected species in that video for time being you should have to remember uh, rural species or or selected species and usually these uh, rural species are uh, usually herbs or weeds okay and this is uh, about uh, 
uh, this video and if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope you have learned something new uh, if you uh, like uh, if you learned something new please do uh, share it okay thank you everyone